welcome to curie electronics so we are preparing for the skill test of electronics mechanic it students so now uh, this video i explain if they give you the schematic and the general purpose pcb and components how to make the circuit in in order to buy heart any circuits because schematic they are going to give you also the components and the pcb you should be able to identify the components for that you should know the color coding of resistors and uh, how to find the value of capacitor general, generally used capacitors and some guessing also you have to do because uh, it is not possible always to find the uh, different component values so easily so you have to sometimes guess also logically you have to guess it what is the component if you are not able to find out that is possible it will happen also if you try okay uh, then don't buy no need to buy hurt any circuit because schematic they are going to give you and the other thing is that if you are familiar with the it whatever circuits like amplifiers op amp circuit oscillators triple five circuits voltage regulator circuits if you are familiar with all those circuits then it is going to be really easy to get the output so here we are i am showing you uh, one of the triple five timer ic configured as the a stable multi vibrator so this circuit we will wire it on a general purpose pcb and show you how to uh, make a circuit on a general purpose pcb see uh, here i want to tell you how do you uh, uh, this pin pin identification of the ic see the see this notch is there on the ic okay so uh, this is going to be the from we will glow we will start like this and move come back move here so this the notch a notch is there and the just bottom down of that ic is the, see you have to keep the notch towards the left side see this is the left side okay left side this notch you have to keep it on the left side and start from down 1 2 3 4 5 up to 8 so this is how the pin diagram so this you should know to place the ic's sometimes what is there this notch won't be there only one dot will be here see just like a dot will be there okay this dot will be there so that is the again keep it towards your left this is the first pin and this is going to be your eighth pin i hope now you got the idea similarly on the pcb pad also you should be able to identify which is the first pin so first pin if it's the smt ic usually they'll give a dot or see here there's a slant line there slant line or dot here also one dot is there so that is the first pin if you see this ic small ic there's also dot if it is the dip ic then what is there the first pin will, will be will have a square type pcb pad square type pad on the pcb square type pad on the pcb for dip ic packages so that is the first pin that first pin and the notch or dot of the ic you should match now let let's construct the circuit and test it out when the when the schematic and components are given you have to assemble and usually you have to apply the power and you might have to show the output also so let's make it on the general purpose pcb so today we are going to prepare for the skill test this skill uh, this is uh, we are what you are do to do is you are given a schematic schematic you have to make the circuit on a general purpose board this this method is same for any uh, government exam skill test whether it is state government or central government or whatever the whatever the institution this is the same method you have to follow so this is a given circuit a triple five based a stable multi vibrator circuit now we will show you how to solder this or how to make this circuit on a breadboard so first you have to place the major component of the circuit so here this is this eight pin ic that is a triple five ic is the main component of the 
circuit. When you solder, you have to make sure that you will apply sufficient flux. You will get either the liquid flux or the paste, paste uh, kind of flux. You have to solder all the leads of the IC. So we will solder this IC base. Then we will place IC, after completing the circuit, we will place the IC on it and we will check the circuit. Or before powering on the IC, before powering on the circuit, what you can do, don't put the IC. If, we, if it is on a base, then don't put the IC. Check everything after wiring. Then power on. If multimeter is there, just you can measure it and see whether proper ground and or ground and VCC is connected. VCC means supply voltage. So here usually we use 5 volt. So next we have to connect the supporting components. So you have to look the you have to verify the comp before inserting and soldering a component you have to make sure you will check the resistor value capacitor value whatever the values and the capacitor polarity diode polarity these polarities should not go wrong then your selection may not happen okay so these polarities are very important don't make any mistake in the polarity of capacitor diode and all and the IC first pin also you have to take care. On the IC there will be notch. Notch. For that is the first pin starts. You have to bend the components properly. Uh, actually it's ideally we need a 90 degree bend. So whatever the way you can bend nicely or neatly try to bend it so all these exams will be time bounded so if you are uh, you are not able to bend it 90 percent 90 degree exactly don't worry whatever whatever possible by you do it and continue the wiring So here already we have placed the 10k resistor. Now we have to place the 1k resistor. Try to give a 90 degree bend. So use a you use a nose player to bend it, okay? if the lead of the component is not clean you have to clean it with a knife or something you have to just scratch that lead and place it and this this capacitor doesn't have polarity it's a 0.1 microfarad capacitor uh, so you need not worry about the polarity but if it is an electrolytic capacitor or tantalum capacitor you have to make sure you will take care of the polarity And in general purpose board, when you make the circuit, first you have to plan it, what are the components and how you are going to place. You should have a, a rough idea, you should not spend more time on it, quickly you should have a, uh, just keep it on uh, on the board, where, wherever you are doing, just keep it on the table all components and see how you can make it. So which are near, close, uh, near, uh, near holes. You can directly short those those. So when you cut these leads, make sure it doesn't fall on the person next sits you. And I always apply flux, then only you will get a shiny soldering. Okay. 
see this soldering is very neat actually see this is how this is a really good soldering but you need not to do so much good but it should be clean Okay. When you use the wire stripper, use the proper gauge. Usually the wire gauge is going to be 26 for uh, small circuits. Also when you wire the circuit, whatever possible on the bottom of the PCB, that is the where, uh, where we are soldering, there also you try to wire the circuit. So it is better to wire on the top of the uh, PCB like this. But what is the thing? It takes more time. Uh, we have to insert in the hole, uh, tap, solder it, everything properly. So it takes a little more time. So to save time, you can solder using wires behind the PCB. But some places we need to take it on the top of the PCB to so that it look neat and it will be for us for the person who makes a circuit also it will be accessible easily otherwise try to use the but the, the this side this side only connect the wire and when you make when you when when the exam for the skill test if the general purpose board is given more than the soldering quality yeah, what is important is the circuit, the finally the circuit should work. The functionality, the function, the circuit should function. That is the main criteria. So, uh, you need not to go for perfect soldering. Okay, try to give a neat soldering, but the circuit should not go wrong. If the practical is uh, making a circuit on a general purpose board. So now we are making the fourth pin and eighth pin short but we are doing it behind the the soldering side of the PCB itself we are connecting the wire so that we can save time so we have made the circuit now we have to give the supply that is uh, we will use 5 volt 5 volt input to this IC we have to give that is the eighth pin and the first pin for that uh, we are uh, getting ready with the wire so wire you have to tin okay you have to tin it means strip the wire uh, depending on the length strip the wire and then apply flux and you have to apply the lead on it lead not solder will say solder will say apply solder on it so that it will be easy to insert and it will connect it will get connected neatly so this is a simple circuit uh, but like this we, you have to practice yourself uh, different circuits like uh, op amp based uh, circuits uh, oscillator op amp based oscillators uh, transistor amplifiers or transistor oscillators uh, some gate circuits whatever the gates you have studied in your IT or diploma all those gate circuits so uh, you have to have the you should have the practice to wire this general purpose making circuit is not so easy you have to practice it then only you can uh, you can do it within uh, time bound uh, so uh, this all circuits there are that is op amp circuits transistor based circuit oscillators gates voltage regulators uh, full wave rectifier all those circuits full wave rectifier with the filter all those circuits please make yours you have to practice yourself if you practice what happens you will get a uh, your soldering quality also becomes better and make sure you will bend the resistors and all 90 degree bend properly take care of the polarity capacitor polarity diode polarity also the first pin of the IC now what you do after turning the wire you will connect the supply wire and the output for this circuit there is no input because it's a, a stable multi-vibrator 
If you are having an amplifier, then you will have the input also. So after connecting all wires, you have to clean the PCB. Otherwise, this flux residue will be there. So clean it well, okay? Take sufficient uh, IP, isopropyl alcohol, and then give you a brush with that brush. Just clean it up. <laughs> See, after making the connections, you have to check the ver circuit and verify whether it is correct or not. Okay. So after making, after verifying the circuit only, you should apply the power to it. See, when you switch, after assembling the circuit, when you check the circuit, this plus VCC and the ground, you have, you have to check thoroughly whether the plus and my ground is connected properly or not. If there is a mistake in the plus, plus VCC and ground, then your component is going to get damaged and it will create lot of problem for you. So before powering it, please check it thoroughly. So we have connect. So we have connected the battery, uh, and the output is connected to the oscilloscope. So you could see here we are getting the os a waveform. We are getting around seven twenty five hertz. So this is how you make a circuit on general purpose board and test it and show the examiner. So make sure the polarity of the battery when you connect up with this polarity is very important positive and negative should not get changed. Then the complete circuit will get damaged. Then again you have to ask him for the you have to request for the components. So take care of the polarity of the voltage applied so all the best for you thanks for watching the video